Hi everybody, my name is Brittany of Britsy Thrift. I'm a reseller on Poshmark primarily and occasionally eBay. And today I'm back with another thrifted haul for you. I'm super excited. I got some really cool stuff. So this is a combination of like maybe three or four stores over the duration of maybe two days. So let's just get right into it. I'm really excited. I found some, some good stuff, some things that I hardly ever find and some brands that I've never found before but have been on my bolo list. So here we go. First find was this Peruvian Connection size medium, 100% baby alpaca wool sweater dress. And I think it's a really pretty red. It does need a fabric shave. I can see it's got like quite a few peely peels down here, but I do have a fabric shaver and I'm going to touch it up. It does have two small holes in the back. You probably won't be able to see it on camera too good, or maybe you can, I think. Either way, I think that the brand is strong enough and the fabric content is strong enough that this is still going to sell. I think somebody's going to be interested in it. I think they're going to have the holes repaired. I have sold stuff like that before where people don't mind getting it repaired because the piece is strong enough that they still want it. And I think that this color is really pretty. I think in the fall, somebody's going to be interested in this. I don't find Peruvian connection that often, so I get really excited when I do, and especially if it's like not marked up. Um, I found it a couple of times and it was marked up, but I stopped going to that thrift store. So now at the thrift store that I normally go to, it's just fair game if you find something. So I only find it every once in a while, but like, I'm super excited to have it. Next is this pair of men's 5'11 Tactical. They are size 36 by 34. I have sold 5'11 Tactical before in a women's size 8 pants. I had a couple of other pants in a size 4. Those have not moved for me. So I'm guessing that maybe the men's and if you have like a larger size, it will probably sell a lot faster. So I'm going to take a chance on these. Next is this pair of Rag and Bone jeans, size 25. They are a Capri. I know people say that these don't sell well anymore. When they were selling well, I never found them. So that would explain why now I do find them more often in the thrift store. But because I'm so excited that I never found it before, um, that often I still pick it up anyway. I think it probably still has a following, especially if it's in good condition. There's no railroad tracks going on with the fabric in the waist. And also the hem is really cute. It's like this step hem. It's distressed, but it's a step hem because you can see that the back is like longer than the top. So with that, I think they're really cute. I think that the brand name is still strong. I do think that it probably still has a following. So maybe somebody will be interested in these. I just didn't want to leave them. I tried to convince myself that I was going to get this for resale, but I do like Land's Inn. Personally, I really like it. It's an extra large 18, so it would be oversized on me, but look at the color. This is a robe. It is a hooded robe at that. That is so pretty. I love this blue-green plaid. It's so vibrant. Even when I went to the register, two people standing at the register were like, oh my god, that's so pretty. I'm like, I know, right? So this is called Serious Sweats. It is like a heavier robe, very thick, super warm. Like if there's snow on the ground, this is what you want to be in. So the verdict is still out. I really want to keep it for myself. I may keep it for myself, but I don't know. I might list it, but I really want to keep it for myself. This is adorable. I love this, this plaid. Look at this. This is so cute. I love that. Next we have Yumi Kim. So there's the label. It's a size medium. And this is like a sheer back because it's open. You're going to see your skin in the back. Um, let's, yeah, like that. It's a crochet lace. Just a really vibrant sort of neon pink dress. It's long sleeves. I feel like with the Barbie movie coming out. Uh oh, my bracelet got caught in it. Okay, we're good. With the Barbie movie coming out, I feel like this stands a very good chance of selling soon. I think somebody's going to be very interested in this. This is so pretty. Look at that. Then it's got this back zip closure. I keep trying to call it a baby doll dress. There's a certain style called baby doll dress where it kind of looks like this, but I don't think this is quite it. St. John Collection, size 16. Yeah, 
This is actually 80% wool and I believe like 30% nylon, but it's just this uh, stretch waist green skirt. I have sold St. John before, but I'm trying to pay attention. I don't find it too, too often. I remember I had a St. John collection sweater, and that was really nice, but it had stains all over it. But it still sold, like, in one day. So, I don't know if maybe St. John collection is more popular than, like, maybe... There's different labels, like St. John collection, and there's St. John by Marie Gray. Then I've seen St. John basics. But I just remember that that sweater was my first time finding it. And it said St. John Collection is sold so fast. So I'm going to see if maybe this one's going to sell fast as well. Maybe there's a difference. I think they're all, you know, still a heavy brand. So you would pick it up either way. I would pick it up either way. But like, I'm just going to kind of monitor it to see if there's a difference in that I notice. Next, we have All Saints. This is a size medium. It's uh, like an army green. It's got a turtleneck that zips on the side. It's ribbed, kind of chunky. I don't find, oh, that's cute. I like that. It's a high-low with a side slit. That's really pretty. I don't find All Saints that often. I think the last piece that I had was just like maybe a top or something. And it's still sold, but I think I kind of had to sit on it for a while. But I think this is still like just a really, really pretty piece either way. Like I love turtlenecks and then with this zip detail here, I think that's really going to sell it. I love this. So I picked it up. I've never heard of this brand before. It's called Your Neighbors. And this is a size small. When I looked it up, it said that it's sold at Urban Outfitters. This coat seemed like it was in really, really good condition. It's just like a bomber, aviator, uh, jacket, quilted. And when I looked it up, I found out that this is actually a men's jacket. So since it wasn't marked up, I only had to pay $5.24 for it. I figured I'll give it a shot. I don't think Urban Outfitters sells that well for me, but still, I think this is a nice coat, and it's actually really, really soft. So I'm thinking I could, I should at least be able to get 30 off of it. This is called Capote, and it is a size small. This is my second time finding Capote. The other one I found was also very pretty and very similar. In style to this with like the faux fur I think the other one I have is like a poncho and this is pretty much a poncho too um, that's really pretty there on that edge the other one is made out of bamboo this one is just I think just polyester um, nothing particularly notable but the style is just so pretty here's another st. John so this is st. John basics by Marie gray this is gorgeous. It's sheer, it's black, it's metallic, it's got a belt in the back, or really it's just kind of like a little, like a tie, little knit tie there. This is just so pretty, and again, I don't leave St. John behind. I do think it has a following. This is pretty. I love this metallic, definitely for the holiday season, or any time. I mean, black is such a neutral color. Somebody's going to want this. So, again, monitoring to see... Which one might sell faster? Like, I like this one based off of style. The other one is cute too, but I don't know. We'll see which label leaves the, the closet first. This is way too big for my son, but I'm tempted to keep it. Um, I mean, all he can do is grow into it. It's a spider youth size uh, large 1416. Just a full zip black and red jacket. And I don't really have good luck with selling spider, but I like to wear spider. I have a pink one, and it does keep me pretty warm. So when I saw this, I was like, well, definitely, because it's not marked up, and either I'm going to sell it or I'm going to keep it for my son when he gets to be this age. And he's growing fast. Like, you know, kids grow really, really fast. They hit these growth spurts, and they're just like, you know, through the roof. So I think this would be really cool for him, and I know he would be nice and warm in it. New with tag, mini Bowden, or I don't know. I mean, I consider this to be new with tag, but it's really just like the button pouch is still attached. But, I mean, it hasn't been worn. This is a youth size, uh, I think it was, what is it, 13 to 14 maybe? But it is 100% lamb's wool. 
So that's a really good fabric content. And it's just this long duster. Well, maybe not a duster, but it's just a long ribbed sweater. And these are really cute pink buttons here. It's got maybe one flaw on it. I definitely checked it over for holes. It doesn't have a hole in it, but it has... Oh, there it is. So, like, it's got a, a little part here that... It's not a hole, but it's kind of like where the threading... Sometimes the threading separates it itself. And um, sometimes you can kind of massage it back into place. But I'll definitely disclose it as usual. But for $5.24, new with tag, 100% lamb's wool, I'm definitely going to put this in my closet. And I'm I'm sure somebody's gonna gonna grab this. This is really cute again with the pink Barbie carrots size large. This is a brand I have picked up and sold before. I'm still trying to get the pricing down on it. Sometimes the what they're listed as is not what's showing as sold comps. So you kind of gotta fill it out. Um, but this is an equestrian brand, so it's for people that like horseback riding. This is just like a quarter zip. I have a few pieces. I have some pants and I also have like a, a fleece vest that's checkered with horses all over it. I just keep picking it up. So because it's got a function and it's not just for style, I tend to pick up brands that are, oh, I didn't see this. See? So there's a little patch there. I tend to pick it up because it's got some functionality to it. It's cute. And I think that it does have a market. This is why it's important to create a bolo list of your own. Like really just take time to go through and sort through like sold listings of like just type in jeans sold for $50 or higher and just get an idea of what's selling. I used to only watch YouTube videos and I only listened to people that I watched because I thought, well, they know everything. So, you know, if what they say is the gospel, if they say this brand sells, then that's what I'm going to pick up. But you very quickly find out that what sells for somebody else does not necessarily sell for you. So you kind of have to just go through and do your own research because there are so many brands out there that are not talked about that are excellent finds, excellent pickups. You will never hear about all the brands that are out there. So if something stands out to you, definitely check it out. This is a brand that I learned about a long time ago, never found it. It's called Justin. Um, I kind of pronounce it Gustin, but I think it is Justin, and there it is on the back patch, on the leather patch there. This is a size um, 34. They are a button fly. And these are actually pretty expensive. They do have like a little bit of puckering in the waist, I noticed, but because the brand is so strong, I think somebody's still going to be very interested in these. I don't discount something just because it has a flaw. Um, well, I do discount it a little bit, but I don't like, you know, totally give it away just because it's got like a little bit of flawing. I think this brand is very rare to find, at least for me. Like I said, I've never found it before. So I do think that somebody's going to be interested in this. And I'm excited to have found one of my bolos. Speaking of bolo. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> So when I went to the thrift store, there was another reseller that was being extremely aggressive. Like I was looking, okay, let me go into a little bit of a story. So like the dress rack at this particular thrift store goes all the way from the front of the store to the back. It's the longest rack that's in the store. And I know that the newer items that come out, they put them at the ends of the rack. They don't put them at the middle. They purposely do that because, um, after a certain period of time when they need to like salvage like they if the rack gets too full they have to go through and um, pick out clothing to put in their baler and they send it off to wherever they send it off to so they make sure that all their older clothing is being shoved towards the middle so they can just easily go and pick out the clothing in the middle i'm standing in the middle of this great long mile long rack and this woman there's only two of us shopping in the dress section she comes up and she stands like right here, right here. And I'm like, okay, you know how I feel about personal space. I'm like, okay, all right, okay, I'm good, you know. So I just keep on looking and I'm doing my thing and I'm looking and I'm looking. And she's doing that thing where she's like really trying to kind of like, you know, like 
push you know what I mean like kind of like shoving like move I'm like okay I know this is intentional because like she could have gone over there she could have gone over there where all the newer stuff was but no she like made a beeline for like where directly where I was so I'm like okay no this is totally targeted so I'm like I'm not gonna move I'm not gonna move I was there first like I'm not bothering anybody I'm in the older section it, you know, I could get it if it was like a specific dress that she spotted and she was like, oh, let me, excuse me, can I get to this dress? Perfectly fine. I don't mind that. But that's not what she was doing. She was like getting territorial, you know. So when she realized that I wasn't going to move out of her way, she went around me. Like, so she's like right here. She goes behind me. And then she pretty much gets right here. Mind you, I've got my shopping. I've got a push cart. Like, it's a small push cart that's like right here. She goes like right here and then she sticks her hand like right here in the rack and starts ticking. And I'm just like, I was just like, oh, like I can't like at that point I reached the boiling point where I'm like, I said, excuse me, you know, and it's like she kind of looked like, oh, you know, like as if I had offended her or something. And I like kind of pulled my cart more towards me to let her know, like, OK, you're crowding me. I don't like it. Like back up. But she stayed directly where she was like she wasn't going to move completely. But but I mean, honestly, she was like really almost in my cart in order to have her hand directly. So I'm like, you can't tell me that you don't know what you're doing, because I still kind of felt like she was side eyeing, like she was kind of giving the side eye of like she still kind of wanted to like push, you know, I like just took my cart and I swiveled around to the other side of her. So now like I'm on this side of her and I did the same. I did the same thing where I stuck my hand like where she was looking and I was like leaning over her basket and I started doing the same thing to her that she was doing to me. And she kind of looked at me like, what are you doing? You know, and I'm like, I'm like the same thing you're doing, you know? So then she kind of like pulled her basket away, like, you know, like, oh, get away, you know? And I'm like, yeah, whatever. So I, we both continue to look for our dresses and I'm like, I just, I hate that. Like, you know, cause it's, it's like a thrift store bully. Like, you know, good and well that like you were doing that intentionally and on purpose. So there's no need to pretend to be shocked when I say something to you or whatever. It's like, you know what you're doing. And I feel like if I were more intimidating looking, she wouldn't have even tried it. So there's definitely people out there that just, they have that, that buttholishness in them where it's like, they know the ones to pick to start messing with. And it's like, I just, I can't all of that to say. <laughs> so this brand I actually found after that happened. Cause I was kind of heated. I was like, okay, some people are just so rude, you know, but I, Went to another section and found Faherty. I don't know if you can see that tag too good, but that's kind of what it looks like with the sun and the, the beams coming through it. It's a size medium. This is a 100% linen pocketed dress. Very cute. And Faherty was definitely on my bolo list. I've never seen it. This tag was so small. I was like, is that what I think it is? It is. So I swiped it and I was like, ha, oh, yes. You know, because the other lady was still over there like doing her tick, 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 tick thing. And I'm like, well, she didn't get this one. So win for me. And like, okay, I'm going to insert something. I recorded something like after this happened, like after the lady kind of irritated me. And then once I found this for Herdy dress, I, I saw a hoodie that caught my attention because I thought it was really, really cute. And it had a saying going along the inside of it. And I'm going to insert it here because I thought it was really cute. I think it said something like, uh, a flower doesn't have to think about competing with the flower next to it. It just blooms. So in a way, I kind of felt like it was trying to tell me like, yes, she's being unkind, but you don't have to stoop to her level. And, you know, she may be trying to compete with you, but ultimately you don't have to do that because... You know, what's meant for you is going to be for you. And clearly this for her dress was meant for me. So there you go. <laughs> Next is this 2XL men's relaxed fit Carhartt plaid red fleece button down shirt. So I am pretty much through with Carhartt. I can't really seem to sell it that well. I sold something new with tags once before and I thought that, you know, it was going to do well from then on out so I kept picking it up but now I've got like a bunch of Carhartt and even my new tags Carhartt is not selling so I, I just the only reason I picked this up was because of the functionality of it
I know that the brand is heard of, very well heard of. It's got a great size, 2XL. This functionality is great, this uh, flannel. I did find another shirt, but it was just like a plain polyester button-down shirt, more so for looks. It was a nice shirt, and it was also a 2XL, but I just felt like this one would sell better because it's a little thicker. It's not like a shacket or anything, but it's definitely thicker than the other one, so I made the call to leave the other one behind and grab this one. Hopefully, when the weather gets cold, I will have good luck with this. I'm definitely going through like the colder sections because I feel like a lot of people seem to be clearing out their sweaters, jackets, like their winter wear, and that's a great, this is a great time to pick up some stuff that people maybe just don't want anymore. Maybe they got new stuff for Christmas and they're like, okay, this is my older stuff. I don't want it anymore. And so it's a great time to pick up stuff and get your closet ready for like for the next fall or colder season. I'm really excited to have found this. So I saw this logo. I was digging through the $2 bin and when I saw it, I was thinking, oh, is that Title IX? Because I like picking up Title IX. It gets a lot of attention. Um, it does pretty well for me. So I, I was looking it over and I was like, what is this? This isn't Title IX. Lo and behold, it is another bolo that I've been looking for. Never found it before. This is Sweaty Betty. First time finding Sweaty Betty. So it's this navy blue sports bra. I think I could probably get like $30 from this at least. And I only paid $1.81 for it. So super excited to have finally found another bolo. This is a skirt with studs on it. Guess what the brand is? Snoopy. Isn't that cute? So like this is, uh, it just says Snoopy. It doesn't say like peanuts or anything like that. It's just Snoopy, but look at the back. So it's new with tags. It's got Snoopy embroidered on the back pocket or stitched on the back pocket, I should say. So this sizing is a little not US. It says 165 slash 12A. And I don't know what that is, but I feel like maybe this is more of like a medium or a large, maybe a junior's large. But I was like, I like Charlie Brown. I like Snoopy. It's got a distressed hem there. I think it's cute that it's on the back pocket. I like the studs and it's new with tags. So I think this will be fine. I just got it because I was like, this is too cute. Now for some personal finds. This is for me. This is a medium Old Navy sweatshirt. It's just kind of oversized. I feel like I can wear this wear with a pair of black leggings when it starts to get a little colder. It just feels really soft and really comfortable. So that is for moi. I love black uh, leggings. This is actually Calia. And I think they'll fit me. They've got like this pocket here. On the side that zip pocket so they got a little bit of ruching there on the side and i think it's flowers or is it snake print it's snake print in there i just thought it was cute i like black leggings i think these should fit me just fine this is victoria's secret uh size small again i think they will fit me just something i'm going to experiment with they're like long johns like the thermal uh pants i think they're just like a pajama bottom really but um Sometimes I'm looking for something like this to put underneath my leggings because I love wearing leggings like all year round, but of course it gets cold outside. So sometimes I want to wear something underneath my leggings and I feel like this would be a quick solve. This and my leg warmers should help me out. And this is an Athleta, Athleta. Really, really soft. Just a sweatshirt in gray. Also, just something oversized that I can wear with a pair of leggings because I wear leggings all the time. A lot. I'm trying to get out of it, honestly. I'm trying to wear... I'm trying to be a little cuter. Ever since I became a stay-at-home mom, I've been very much so into just, like, active wear, leggings, stuff like that. And it just doesn't even feel the same when I wear jeans. I'm trying to get back into it. But I keep picking up these comfy, cozy things, like these loungy, sort of relaxed things. All of those were $1.81 out of that $2 bin. All right, now let's get into some shoes. So these are Brahma. I believe this is a Walmart brand, but I like these because she didn't wear them that much. These are slip resistant. I like the pink. So cute black and pink. I think these are a larger size. Yeah, these are a size 10. 
I just think that they're really cute workwear shoes and they only cost me I think five bucks these are like new they're called LFL lust for life I love this little metallic sheen they have here they are not worn at all I like this faux fur they're just really really cute these are a size seven and a half yeah these are a good pickup I love these they're just like a little bit too small for me I would so wear these but yeah these were definitely gonna come with me they're five dollars as well so I don't know if you knew this let's see if you can guess look at these boots see I'm trying to cover up the logo so who do you think the brand is because I did not know that this brand made boots who do you think who do you think have you seen these before all right show you the logo beta brand I saw these and I was like is that the beta brand logo and I was like am I mistaken and then I looked inside and I was like, that is the Beta Brand logo. These are Beta Brand boots. I forgot the name. They're called the Western, something Western boot. But this is just so interesting. They're size six and a half. Here's the bottom. It's got some wear on them. But like, look at that. That's so pretty. Like the red. It's like got this netted print on them. I love this. Chelsea boots. It's almost like oil cloth like that material really pretty but I was like okay I'm not picking up beta brand anymore even though I did just sell a couple of pairs of beta brand pants um, I'll only pick it up if it's interesting like if I find a dress because I also didn't know that they made dresses I thought that they were primarily just like work wear like pants so I picked up a dress and I grabbed these boots because yeah that's just different I didn't know they made those here's a pair of boots that I grabbed solely based off of style so they're very westerny. I love this. They look like cowboy boots, but they're ankle boots. And because the store was closing, I really didn't have time to like fully research them. There was no, there's no brand in here that you can really see. I know it's kind of dark. I mean, I could see the faint markings of where a brand was. So when I got home, I had to Google lens them. Turns out these are free people. And when I looked at the, the brand stamp inside the shoe that actually had it, like on the listing that sold, I could see it. I was like, yeah, this is free people. It's got the same stamp. So I'm glad I went on and picked these up. I do like free people shoes. And this style is just really, really cool. Look at that. It's total cowboy boot. I love that. It's really, really neat. These are a size uh, 37, I believe. Yeah, they're 37. So... Uh, I paid $3.96 for these. These are Reaction by Kenneth Cole. They are in such good condition. I love this. This is very bronze, metallic, gold. Now, I, I see this here, and I was thinking, oh, she scuffed them. But then I started noticing it kind of throughout. Like, I see a little bit of darkness throughout, and I'm wondering if maybe they're made that way to have, like, a little bit of distressing. I'm not sure. This is called the Kitty. It says K-I-T hyphen T-Y. And it's a leather upper, man-made lining. And these are a size 9. So these are just like really, really cool to me. I don't usually pick up like Kenneth Cole or Reaction Kenneth Cole, any of that. But these are just really cool to me. I like these. So I already have a pair of these dance goes up for sale. They're actually in a size like 41 or 42. So immediately when I saw them, I was like, oh, that's funny. I have these. And I thought that they were unique the first time I picked them up. So I'm like, okay, these aren't marked up. I'm going to pick them up again. I like this cloth. I like the sort of like little dots on it. Now, I did know from my other pair that this part in here is supposed to have like that same brown lining. So this is actually cracked and peeled off like chipped away from wear other than that these are just fine I love these I love these and these are in a size 39 I don't you're not even going to notice that like because it's already chipped and cracked all the way through it just looks like a white line like it's it's fine so for four dollars I picked these up and I said, I'll put these up for sale right along with my other ones. I think the other ones I'm asking more for because 
they are a size 42 and they're in much better condition like as far as the lining these are fine too they're in good you know the condition is not bad on these either i'm just saying they're the other ones are in a little bit better condition and they're in a bigger size i received a 40 dollars offer on the other ones before but i was asking for a little bit more so i'm expecting that maybe i could get 40 dollars for these and lastly this one made me really really happy because i look for these so this is a crocodile creek puzzle i love these me and my son put these together all the time but they're kind of expensive they're like 30 dollars at uh the store in the mall that i got one from the first one i found was like a dollar 99 cents in a thrift store i loved it so i was like okay where can i get these from so I found it online and it was about the same, like it was kind of like $30 for Crocodile Creek puzzles, but this one, this one was also $1.99. We put it together earlier today and it is missing one piece. I hate that, but it's okay. Um, like this piece right here, actually, not that you care, but just like, this is the only piece that's missing and it kind of makes you feel incomplete when you can't finish it. But other than that, it's a beautiful puzzle. It's a floor puzzle, 36 pieces. And the the pieces are, you know, big enough for him to, like, have fun putting together. So I grabbed this. I'm always on the lookout for Crocodile Creek. These are great puzzles, and I rec recommend them for anybody that's got kids. Probably even after he outgrows these, I'm going to keep them. I was going to redonate them, but, like, they're, even as an adult, they're actually kind of soothing to put together. Like, if you don't want, like, an intense puzzle to put together, it's like you just want something just to kind of, like, relax you. These are pretty cool. Likewise, I got this puzzle, which we also put together earlier today because it's super fun. So this is an alphabet um, puzzle. It's a floor puzzle. It says that it is 10 feet long, 28 pieces. So this is really good for helping them learn their ABCs because what I'll do is I'll just put all the pieces on the floor and I'll help him get it started. So like it starts off with this choo-choo train here. I'll do like the first couple of pieces and then I'll tell him, where's the A? And so he finds the A on the floor and then he puts it you know, it's easy enough for him to put it together himself. And then I'm like, okay, now where's the B? B for bear, you know, and then he finds this piece and then he puts it there. So he enjoys it and I enjoy it because I know he's learning his ABCs and it's a pretty simple puzzle. And it's really cool how like at the end of the alphabet, he gets really excited because I'm telling him like, you know, look back down the line at all these alphabets that you put together, like all these letters that you put together. And he's just like, oh my God, I did all that. And I'm like, yeah, you did your alphabet, you know? So that's really, really cool. Um, I think I paid $5.99 for this one, but it was still worth it. Because again, usually these puzzles, when I see them in the store, are like 30 bucks. So to find anyone for like $5.99 or $1.99 especially is like incredible. I pick them up every time. This one's Melissa and Doug. So that's it for my haul, guys. Thanks so much for watching. And I hope your sales are going great. I will see you in the next video.